Today I am talking about the use of electromagnet. There are many devices in which electromagnets are used. Just for example, uh, electric bell, microphone, loudspeaker, radio, etc. These are the devices in which electric electromagnet is used. And among them, this is one of the most important device in which electromagnet is used. And how it is made electric bell i want to show it with a diagram if you are asked to draw a diagram in examination you can draw this diagram and how it works its working principle also i will explain okay electric bell consists of a u-shaped magnet look at this is a u-shaped magnet It consists of U-shaped magnet. This is electromagnet. Why? Because it is worn with electric wire like this. And it is made by the use of electric current. This way it is worn with insulated copper wire. Another side also. Okay, now very close to this electromagnet, a soft iron bar is placed very close to it. And this soft iron bar is not alone. Alone, this is also connected to a spring. This is spring. A spring means when we press it, then it displays from its original position and when we really we stop pressing it, then it regains its position. Now, this electric wire is connected to this spring. Now, not only spring, there is another matter that is hammer. Hammer is also connected with the soft iron bar which is designed to heat a gong to ring the bell this way and this spring is connected to a screw exactly better to say it is touching a screw this way and the circuit is completed this way let's say two cells are used to supply current and positive and negative terminal and there is push switch connected to This, this cells. Now this is complete circuit. Now I want to label all these. This A. A is what? A is electromagnet. And this is let's say B. B is soft iron bar. And let's say this is C. C is a spring. It's thin uh, metallic strip, but uh, to show it very clearly, I made a little thick. Otherwise, it is very uh, thin metallic. Is a me metallic thin sheet uh, which uh, uh, can be pressed and which can be really. Uh, and when we stop pressing, it will come into come in its original position. Now C is a spring and D is screw. Let's say this E. E is hammer. And this is let's say F. F is gong. And then let's say this is G. G is G is what cells? And this H is push switch. 
push switch means when we push it then connection is made when we release our hand then uh, the connection is uh, cut off okay if you are told to draw a diagram to show electric bell you can draw this and these this these are, are the matter related with this this is labeling now how it works this is the prime matter how it works after the diagram we have to know how it works when we push this push switch at then circuit becomes complete how electric current is uh, starts to flow from positive terminal of this cell and it goes to electromagnet and then it comes out from electromagnet and it go, reaches to this spring this is just the support only and from a spring it goes to a screw and from a screw it goes to what push switch and to the negative terminal this way electric circuit is completed electric current doesn't pass through this uh, soft iron bar because there is uh, an insulating material which separates this spring with this soft iron bar in between these two there is insulating material and that's why electric current doesn't come to this hammer also and gong also and this electric current passes through a spring to a screw and a screw to the uh, push switch and then to negative terminal this is the complete circuit now the question is how it works when we push the push switch then the circuit becomes complete and electromagnet gains magnetism and when it gains magnetism it attracts soft iron bar that is b and when soft iron bar is attracted then hammer attached with the soft iron bar is also attracted and it moves forward and it hits the gong and once we have the sound of bell ting in the meantime the spring and a screw are disconnected because the spring and a screw are touching each other when soft iron bar moves forward then not only the hammer this spring also moves forward and the touch is now disconnected that's why circuit becomes incomplete when circuit becomes incomplete then what happens electromagnet loses its magnetism because electromagnet is temporary magnet whenever there is flow of current it gains magnetism when flow of current stops then within fraction of second it loses magnetism that's why it loses magnetism and when it loses magnetism then again what happens uh, the soft iron bar is not attracted it goes back and again what happens this spring comes in contact with screw now circuit is completed and then same thing repeated what repeats the hammer moves forward because soft iron bar is attracted and hammer moves forward and it hits the gun this way due to alternate connection and disconnection hammer hits the gong repeatedly ding, 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 ding. within one second maybe two or four times that's why krrr, bell rings this way uh, when we push the switch when we stop pushing switch then the circuit is disconnected uh, from this push switch and when we push the switch then connection and disconnection of the circuit um, occurs alternately and hammer hits the gong alternately and we have the sound of bell this way electric bell works and electromagnet is the key factor of the working of electric bell that's why one of the important use of electromagnet is in making electric bell okay this much for today